this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes and on this Makers Monday I'd like to figure out the necklace portion or the hanging portion whatever you call it for this glass pendant um, I received this pendant in a jewelry jar and it was on a green uh, chiffon ribbon and I don't like um, those types of necklaces um, they're difficult to clean um, it does have the sort of ethereal look um, that you know looks kind of nice with a glass pendant especially one that's transparent like this but I don't think it has a long lifespan and I'd like to make something much more exciting to go with this um, I'll insert some pictures of the various beads I've picked out to go with this. I've just basically picked things from my stash. Uh, these are all um, beads from jewelry jars. And uh, the uh, big 16 pound jar that I had recently had a ton of beads. I got, it didn't have 10 pounds worth of beads, but it must have had at least six or eight pounds. Anyway, um, so I pulled out um, these clear beads there aren't very many of them I have six of the large ones and then I have in the similar color range I have two four six eight ten twelve so there these are a um, sort of a pinched cube and they have that sort of pinky uh, tone with a a green center and these have more of a clear tone with a green center um, I also have on my bead board some uh, the fiber optic or uh, uh, squares or cubes I mean this one's sorry this one's faulty I gotta make sure I don't use that one um, so some fiber optic cubes in those greens now Obviously, I don't have enough of these to make, you know, a nice spaced pen, uh, necklace. I figure for my own wear, this needs to be 24 inches. So I have a piece of uh, stringing wire here for that. Um, and there aren't quite enough of these, or there's too many to kind of just go like that. And then, you know, what do you do? You space the rest. Have I missed one somewhere? One there. Oh, missed one there. Okay, so there's that. That still doesn't take us very far along. Um, but it's, you know, a nice symmetrical pattern, and I think um, that's what I need here. Um, so what I was thinking instead was about every inch... having one of these nice beads I think I'm gonna put two wait a minute I think I'm gonna put two and then this one can be a little further apart there um, an inch and a half one an inch say an inch and a half and an inch hmm that might work. So there, and an inch, and then what have we got here? Another inch. Oh, how do we get? Okay, one. Oh, okay, one, two, three, four, and then. Four. Five and a half. And then six and a half, seven and a half, nine, and ten and a half. How's that? That's that looks nicely spaced on that side. Sort of there, you see it all the way down there. So let me just repeat that on this side. Four, then five and a half, six 
six and a half, seven and a half, nine, and then another inch and a half. Well, okay, so it's not, well this, yeah, that's, okay, so this needs to be an inch and a half from wherever this ends. So that's kind of tricky, it ends about there, so it's closer to seven, eight, nine and a half, maybe 11. I think that's might work better. We've got one at eight. Seven. There, okay. So there's, now we need to fill in the spaces. I have all these other colors. I have orange, um, a ton of orange. I have other clears, but I don't think they do anything. I have a very small number of yellows. Whoops, there's my pendant back. I don't, I don't really have enough yellows to do anything nice with them. They could be an accent. I have, a, as I said, I have a ton of oranges, but I think since green is the predominant uh, scheme or color with the clear, I'm gonna go with, well, let's see what it's like first, just putting little guys between, little cubes. They're not gonna cover much distance, so they're not gonna fill in the blanks, and I don't, think I have. Let's try it. One, two. Let's see if I have enough. I'm going to need three there. I'm going to need four here. One, two, three, four. I think I can already tell I'm not going to have enough. Three. Four. There's four. I'm not going to have anywhere near enough small greens to um, fill in all the way around. So I've only got that way, and I've that's about half of my small greens. So. I'm going to need to use the larger greens. Let's just put this up a bit. Hmm. So let's try, let's just try putting a large green in between each. Now the further apart they are, whoops, I haven't got the camera on it. So there's, um, Large greens, and they're okay. They're not overpowering things, but I think this still needs smalls. I'm gonna put three there. Let's grab the small, some smalls down here. How about we put them in between as if they were spacers? Okay, so we move that one down. One, whoops, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, see now we're getting pretty short, we're not gonna, so I think, happens if I put two there? I wonder if I need to put two before and after each large bead. Let's see. So one, two, three, and that. One, two, and that, one, two, 
Oh, now we need to do that again here. One, two, large bead, small cube, small cube, that one. One, two, okay. So that gets us to about 11 and a half inches. So I might need to put more uh, to, uh, more cubes down in here to spread it right up to, um, oh no, I only need 12. Yeah, okay, so let's leave it there. So let's try to do the same thing. We might need some more cubes up there. So, small, large, small, focal, cube, small, large, this one, small, cube, small, and then we need small, cube, small, cube, small, I think I need another cube in there for sure, and another one in there for sure, all right, let's try one, two, little guy in between, large one, small one, Okay, I'm going to run out of little cubes. Oh, that's no good. There. What have I got? Oh, maybe there's one little cube there. And all those. So, I don't have enough little cubes to do that at the beginning. So, I'm going to put a big one in there. Take two more out of there, put a big one in there. So I've got one, two, three, and two large. Push everything down. This one, small. Hey, it works. Okay. Yeah, so that takes us about 12 inches. So that's kind of cool for one strand. But I was hoping to do a multi-strand. There isn't a lot of orange and yellow in here. There's more speckles on the back, even with a little bit of blue. So I'm wondering if a solid orange... Let's put these down. Is that going to be... Too much orange. This is uh, always challenging. Okay. Or does it need something to break it up? I really hadn't. I've got all this other stuff here. I've got lots of these orange cubes. I could certainly do a whole strand of them. I've got these, I don't know what these are going to do, these clears. If they have, oh, there's different sizes of them. Okay, that's interesting. There's little guys. Oh, they're all together in the same bag. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's just... Play around here a little bit. Well, that's not too bad with the spacing like that. I suppose we could do three or four in between, depending on how long we wanted that. But certainly the clears help. Um, 
Yeah, they help extend things. How many more large clear beads do we have? Let me get these out. Uh, I got one. Two. Oh. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I have ten. Okay. At least I have an even number. And then I have quite a few of these small ones. Hmm. I don't have a ton of these little cubes. So that's not so bad with the with the clear in there. I didn't like it solid. Let's see, and how far I'm gonna put them four apart just because we don't have a lot of the uh we got a lot of the clears and we have lots of space to fill in. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Do we want to continue on? There's a couple of grayish looking ones. I don't want those in there. Um, with smaller beads? Or do we need to have it? One, two, three, four. We need to have it alternating. Let's see. Well, that one's a weird shape. I want a nice round one. Hmm. Two, four, one, two, three, four. round one there, nice round one there, slide everything down, I'm really just trying to see what it's going to take to get to the length to match the first strand, so that's a nice round one. I said I have plenty of these orange ones. So, take that one out and move it down there and find a nice round one to go in there. Another one, two, three, is that four? Three, four. Another small round one. Okay, I don't know why they're not lining up, but hmm, very nice, bright, tropical looking thing here. Um, and I think. If we're going to have them spaced, I don't want the heaviest ones at the center, so I want to reverse positions between the large and the small clear. So, that one's not as round as that. Um, 
get some more orange ones out just to um one two three four that one one two three four and that one and then we can put I'm not sure I want the heavy one up at the top there. So I might do this. Switch that one and that one. Switch this one. And. Oh, great. One, two. Oh, I'm missing one in there. How could I possibly be missing one when I lost my clear one? Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I haven't got enough, long enough arms to reach way out there. So... I kind of like what that's doing. So what else does it need? I've got clear green and orange. There's a tiny bit of red in the pendant. Tiniest, tiniest bit of red. I don't know how I could get some red in here without it looking too dark. See, as soon as I put that there, all you see is the red, and I don't want that. Uh, hell no, I won't be able to get out of there. It kind of looks okay close to the, the pendant itself. But then, if the pendant's sort of sitting right on top of your chest, ladies, everybody's eyes, I think, would go to the red and stay there. So I'm not going to put the red there. So what else can we do? Put the pendant back. Whoops, goes this way. Do I need another strand to go with this? Other beads that I have, you know what? Um, that I don't think will go very far. I have some other clears, including seed beads. Um, I have some like chip beads, chip glass chips. Hmm. I have some yellows. But at this point those don't look right. There's these. But again, it doesn't quite look right. Lots of orange and green seed beads. So I'm wondering if this just needs, hmm, let's try, I'm going to move these down a row. You win, because the next row, one, two, three, four. I, cause, because I have lots of oranges and I can extend my orange and clears if I need to. But if I'm going to add a third strand, then I'll need fewer beads because so, uh, it has to travel a shorter distance. 
So I'm going to play around for, for safer planning sake we have plenty of orange um Excuse me while I move these and and move them up so that they're taking up the right amount of space. What I'm thinking is putting clears and then some other colors. Well, here's a little bit past where we left off. I've been playing around with what to do with this other strand. Um, I'm not going to have these strands hang separately. They're going to be sort of twined together. Um, so this is going to be end up like kind of like a fruit salad. <laughs> Perhaps you might call it Hawaiian's uh, jumble. I don't know. Um, but I'm not sure about the centerpiece yet, but it does have a little bit of red in there. It's got yum, some yellow, some orange tiny bits of pink. Um, for now I've started stringing um, the main section. You notice I've put uh, darker green spacers in to sort of emulate the dark lines in the flower and uh, put some bicones through the center here just so that it has um, something more substantial to run through there. And uh, I'll keep stringing and come back to you when I have um, the first strand um, finished and we see what kind of length we're getting out of it. The little green spacers uh, help improve my length. Well, dear viewers, I'm back with uh, what I figure is the final um, presentation of this uh, necklace. Remember we started with the uh, this focal, I concentrated on a green and clear strand to mimic the focal itself. Then an orange and clear strand to bring out the orange highlights. And then I went with what I call the fruit salad or the fruit cocktail um, multicolor um, strand that has everything from yellow to clear to red to pink to orange. Uh, and, in, and some green spacers, orange and green spacers, to kind of spice the whole thing up. Now, what I found was that uh, I accidentally, not accidentally, I put two strands, the green and orange strand, through the bale of the uh, thing um, because I was thinking I would run all three strands through. And then uh, I did the third strand, the, the fruit cocktail strand, separately and didn't run it through well. To my delight, it fit through that bale. So these um, still slide, so there's still some give, um, but they all fit nicely there. And this is what you can do. I'm gonna see if we can sort of lift it up and show. So it can sort of take on <coughs> three separate strands and they hang very nicely or the wearer could take these and twist them. Maybe it'll shorten the necklace up a little bit, but it's a good length. So they could be taken and they could be twisted. I'm not sure how the other side's going to twist. Since I'm trying to do this through the camera and I'm a little uncoordinated sometimes. So they could be much closer together like this. So this is a very summery, uh, bright, tropical kind of necklace. Um, but I love the color plays in it and I'm really happy with how everything has turned out. Um, I had thought at one time of uh, setting them up as three separate necklaces so that you could wear them all separately. Um, now that I've got them fed through the bale, that's not going to happen, but I'm going to, uh, leave it the way it is, finish it off. And I know that 
because of the way they slide through there, if I ever had to, I could take it apart relatively easily. So uh, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this wander through my bead stash to see how I would come up with something for this beautiful focal. I'd like to report that I have 12 empty bags of um, uh, from uh, beads that I've used up. The green strand I thought wasn't going to be long enough and I was going to put double um, large cubes through here. It turned out in the end that uh, that was too much and I even ended up uh, well, actually, I shortened that idea a tiny little bit so that I would end up with a couple of those um, of these clear with this green pink centers um, left over for earrings. And so this is my little bag of, of bits and pieces for earrings. There's the other one. Um, not everybody... Uh, makes earrings to match things but I like to especially it's a good way to to use up little leftover bits and pieces and definitely the green cubes um, the especially the small ones um, there's probably enough uh, with some of the other larger green cubes to make a bracelet I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that but definitely I can play around with these and make some fun uh, tropical earrings to go with this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to uh, respond to them. If you think this necklace is for you, contact me at Pat Hood Passions and Pastimes. My email is uh, in the description and we can talk about uh, purchasing that uh, necklace. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye for now.